Throughout world history, countless wars have been fought around the globe over issues ranging from religious differences, territorial disputes, politics, and ethnicity. While war in itself is always destructive and costly, there exists a handful of wars in history that have proven quite devastating in regards to both death tolls and overall destruction. This video examines the top 10 deadliest wars in human history. At number 10 is the 30 Years' War with an estimated death toll of 8 million. The 30 Years' War was a 17th century religious conflict fought primarily in Central Europe. It remains one of the longest and most brutal wars in human history, with more than 8 million casualties resulting from military battles as well as from the famine and disease caused by the conflict. The war lasted from 1618 to 1648, starting as a battle among the Catholic and Protestant states that formed the Holy Roman Empire. However, as the Thirty Years' War evolved, it became less about religion and more about which group would ultimately govern Europe. At number 9 is the Russian Civilian War, with an estimated death toll of 9 million. The Russian Civil War began in 1917 and ended in 1921. An estimated 9 million people died during this power shift from Russian provisional government to the Soviets. During and after the Russian Civilian War, Soviet Russia suffered great damage. In 1920 and 1921, there was little rain which caused serious famine in 1921. About 1 million Russians left Russia or went to other countries permanently. Economic loss was also very large. The value of Russia's currency fell. Estimates say that the war cost the Soviet Russia around 35 billion US dollars. Production of industrial goods fell greatly. The Russian Civil War was very bad on agriculture as well. The number of horses fell from 35 million in 1916 to 24 million in 1920. The number of cattle also decreased from 58 million to 37 million. At number 8 is the Dungan Revolt with an estimated death toll of 12 million. The Dungan Revolt refers to a religious conflict fought in Western China between 1862 to 1877. The war began when Hui Muslims began rioting in China in response to religious and racial discrimination that was being perpetuated by the Qin Dynasty. In response to the riots, the Qin government retaliated with outstanding speed, unleashing devastating reprisals and massacres against Hui Muslims across western China. As conflict ensued, the Hui rebels were both outmatched and outgunned by their adversaries, as the Qin government enacted a campaign of total war against both rebels and Muslim civilians. Although the Hui rebels fought heroically for several years, their lack of coordination, leadership and organization ultimately led to their downfall as Hui Muslims found it difficult to lead coordinated attacks on the Qin army. At number 7 is the conquest of Timor, with an estimated death toll of 17 million. Timor conquests and invasions started in the 14th century and ended at the start of the 15th century with the death of Timor. Due to the sheer scale of Timur's wars and the fact that he was generally undefeated in battle, he has been regarded as one of the most successful military commanders of all time. These wars resulted in the supremacy of Timur over Central Asia, Persia, and parts of South Asia and Eastern Europe, and also the formation of the short-lived Timurid Empire. His military campaigns caused the deaths of 17 million people, amounting to about 5% of the world population at that time. At number 6 is the Taiping Rebellion with an estimated death toll of 20 million. The Taiping Rebellion refers to a civil war that took place in China between 1850 and 1864 between the Qin government and the Taiping Heavenly Kingdom led by an individual named Hong Chiquan, a self-proclaimed prophet. The Taiping forces waged a nationalist, political, and religious war against the Qin dynasty with the goal of converting the Chinese people to Christianity and toppling the Qin government in the process. The Taiping rebels managed to take control of significant portions of South China with an estimated 30 million people falling under their control at the height of their power. The Taiping rebellion eventually failed and resulted in mostly civilian deaths of about 20 million people. 
And number five is the Manchu conquest of China, with an estimated death toll of 25 million. The Qin conquest of the Ming dynasty, also known as the Ming-Qin transition or Manchu conquest of China, refers to a decades-long war between the Qin and Ming dynasty that lasted from 1618 to 1683. Originating from a series of complaints known as the Seven Grievances, which enumerated the major social and political issues facing China at that time, rebel groups waged war against the ruling Ming dynasty with the hope of achieving reform. Lasting nearly 70 years, city after city fell to the rebels with large number of Ming officers and government officials defecting to the rebel cause. However, victory was not achieved until nearly 40 years later. And number four is the Second Sino-Japanese War, with an estimated death toll of 29 million. The Second Sino-Japanese War refers to a conflict between the Republic of China and the Empire of Japan from 7th July 1937 to 2nd September 1945. The conflict began as a result of the Japanese Empire seeking to expand its control and influence into the heart of Asia where resources, labor, and food were in abundance for their growing empire. Using an incident near the Marco Polo Bridge in Wanping as an excuse to invade, Japanese forces quickly overwhelmed Chinese forces in July 1937 with approximately half a million troops. Although the Chinese fought valiantly against the Japanese until the end of 1945, Japan initiated a repressive system of control that effectively brought the country to its knees. And number three is the Anlushan Rebellion, with an estimated death toll of 36 million. The Anlushan Rebellion refers to a massive war that occurred in China 755 AD. Lasting nearly eight years, the rebellion was a direct result of General Anlushan declaring himself Emperor of Northern China in defiance of the established Tang Dynasty. Fearing that their reign was close to an end, the Tang Dynasty hired nearly 4,000 mercenaries to accompany their army in the battle that ensued. Spanning the reign of three separate emperors, the war resulted in tremendous social, economic, and political upheaval within China before the rebellion was finally crushed in 763 AD. And number two is the First World War with estimated casualties of 40 million. The First World War, also known as the Great War, was a major war centered in Europe that began in the summer of 1914 and lasted until November 1918. The war resulted in the mobilization of approximately 70 million military personnel as the European continent was engulfed by conflict in nearly every corner of the map. When the fighting finally ceased in November 1918, Europe faced devastation on a scale never before seen in history as the continent experienced widespread political, social, economic, and cultural changes in the conflict's wake. And number one is the Second World War, with estimated death toll of 70 million. Fought from 1939 to 1945, the Second World War is the deadliest conflict in history, with over 70 million fatalities, and which involved nearly all of the world's countries. Divided into two separate camps, the two military alliances engaged in total war for nearly six years, with devastating consequences in terms of both death and destruction. In total, an estimated 100 million military personnel from approximately 30 different countries were thrust into the conflict with horrific consequences. The conflict left in its wake thousands of destroyed cities and millions of lives lost. Ethnic tensions, religious differences, and political ideologies all provide an unlimited source of animosity that too often spills over into conflict. So guys, Ensure you uphold peace by all means. Before leaving this video, remember to like, share, and subscribe for more amazing videos. Thank you for watching.